We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women.
We're on the clock, Woods. It's not easy to see later. Hey, Mace. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. The apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him bring in the new year. Go, go, go! Handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trabzon Airfield tomorrow night. Uh, oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. <laughs> this is not... Oh. All right, let's load him up. We'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Hostages. Ah! 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 
His plan is already underway. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west. Hudson don't want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. Vietnam War. Viet Cod soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson. We're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man best suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets all... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task, protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler had that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. 
Zog was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Mel, you're with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds, check in when ready. Badger, Niner. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk to! Light him up!
Hotel, you are on point. Keep pushing I'm forward. Keep Getting close. on you, Bell. Open the door. Stay surrounding me! Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work! Hang on to that intel! We're coming in to pick you up! Alright, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset! Oh, target! 
targets are valid. Tear them up, Bell. Target the hut.
here to land. Copy that, Ripcord. Badger 9 or 1, setting down. The base is still hot, so watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me, thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. Ain't that desperate already? Not yet. Perseus knew. Sims, Bell, you okay? <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun. Can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Denang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. 
Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Falkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to... Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. A ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture. Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Mark, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. I know 
matter lock a place down, I'll give them that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. The Krauss will be coming through any time. Look for Krauss with your camera. Damn. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Krauss, he could miss his meeting with Falkov. Near the checkpoint. Man with the briefcase. Is that him? Not our guy. That's not him. No. Looking. Cross doesn't look like that. Job. That's our man. That's Kraus. On me. Park. Kraus just crossed the wall. What's your status? Bazaar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Go to the bar and meet the contact, Bill. Bell, look for the blue umbrella. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Krause setzt die Table over my right shoulder. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. House is ecstasy, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. 
One of my informants was picked up in a random suite just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I will ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Oh. Silenced. They're holding him here. Thank you, Shane. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. meine Wohnung von hier aussehen. Ich frage nicht noch einmal. desto schlimmer wird es für Sie. Give me a 
I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I, I've done everything by the book. Volkov? Oh, he's awful. Speakable. If you find him, you, sh you should just kill him on sight. Please, uh, I'm a friend. Release me. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Go ahead. I'll be fine. That's your little profile, Bell. God help us all. Follow me. Stay quiet. Don't look at That's what you Parks in the electronics store right across the street from Krauss's place. I'm gonna pick her up some necklaces from the brown bar. Close already. Park is just up ahead. near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Krauss. Place a track on him. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the great challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for him. Unwanted guess. Bart, you can keep an eye on us from here. My best thing. Lovely. Nastasia stopping everyone. Be careful. In the chapel. Wie lange arbeiten Sie schon dort? Bell, I saw Krauss writing in the ledger. See if you can find it. Bell, if you're spotted by Krauss or his wife, the mission is over. Ich fürchte, Sie haben sie. 
Hören Sie mal, ich weiß, dass Ihre Freundin nicht hier ist. Entweder hat sie Ihnen eine falsche Nummer gegeben oder Sie haben sich verschrieben. Natürlich, gar kein Problem. Ihnen auch noch einen schönen Abend. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Ja, Franz, er ist hier im Wohnzimmer. Ich lege ihn neben die Tür. Was? Wie sind Sie hier reingekommen? Hier gibt es keine Freya. Ja, das ist meine Nummer, aber ich fürchte, Sie haben sich... Hören Sie mal, ich weiß, dass Ihre Freundin nicht hier ist. Entweder hat sie Ihnen eine falsche Nummer gegeben oder Sie haben sich verschrieben. Natürlich, gar kein Problem. Ihnen auch noch einen schönen Abend. Watch out. His wife is leaving the kitchen. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Ja, Franz, er ist hier im Wohnzimmer. Ich lege ihn neben die Tür. Mama, ich bin in meinen Decke nicht. Ich bin in ein paar Minuten oben, Wilhelm. Der die Zähne. Komm gleich Wie sind Sie auf. hier reingekommen? Hallo? Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Ja, Franz, er ist hier im Wohnzimmer. Ich lege ihn neben die Tür. Mama, ich bin in meine Decke. Ich bin in ein paar Minuten oben, Wilhelm. Shit, we missed the kid. Dir die Zähne. Ich komm gleich rauf. Don't let Kraus see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've lost sight of Krauss every time he entered that room. Have a look around. You're running out of time. Find the briefcase. Let Perseus know I captured him. Fine. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. I don't care about your questions. Unfortunately for you, it seems these friends of yours have other places to be, comrade. <laughs> I could probably make use of you, but you are damaged goods. Only a grave can cure a hunchback.
So, here we are. At last. Bell, on behalf of MI6, thank you. Volkov is ours. More than he deserves. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. Information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Percy has smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Persis has planned. Look at that monster. Reds can be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. High and low. Choose your target. Draw your weapon. Time to get dirty. over. Two more out of the truck. Damn. Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps. Prince, whatever you can find.
Я проверю. for now. But I still know what
You lost something. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. Guards down below. I'll move to the lower deck and engage on your mark. All right, I'm set. Я тебя вижу. Пиздец. Твоя форма это просто базар. Вижу постороннего. All clear. Moving up. Found another sector. Shit. Says this place was built as some kind of early warning system. Missile defense. Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Move. 
Russian vehicle in town. Cinema? Huh. I thought there was more. There they are. Contact on the rooftops!
that elevator leads straight to the control tower. some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? on the terminal. Start poking around. Bell, check the mainframe computer. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Nice. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. Stolen nuke is American. And Hudson fucking knew. Shit! Time to go! Unauthorized death.
went from bad to worse. Just make sure Adler and Mason are ready at the exit.
Yes, sir, I'm on it. was from green light didn't tell us what else are you hiding maybe i can knock the truth out of you you might want to rethink that woods everybody stand down this little pissing match isn't going to help us catch perseus why didn't you tell us it was an american nuke he needed us to clean up his mess the bastard's been lying to us all along it's not a lie it's an omission of fact that's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74 of the bombs were upgraded to high yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want him more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio and we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. Dimitri's kosher enough. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half of them. Up. 
scouts on the ridge line. We should drop them now before we get any closer. Good kill. Not bad. Let's keep moving. Stop torching. Save some for me. Shit, this looks dicey. But hey, if it's good enough the Reds. Time to pay Ivan a visit. See? He's the cake. That's the old SATCOM building. Looks like it's hanging by a thread. Let's keep moving. Good kill. See any more? They got sniped. Don't let them spot you. Stay low. Keep out of sight.
Whatever. my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down there. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay sharp. Woods. Great. Crossbow bolt. атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я в любом случае. Нам пора идти. Ты что, боишься привидений? Я боюсь облучить. Ой, чисто. Мне нужно подкрепление.
Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. Mason, hop on that scope. Look for something that could lift the mainframe. If I'm reading this map right, swing a few degrees to your left, more north. You ask me? They're here for more than just the mainframe. Steiner was working on all sorts of crazy shit. That Nova 6 business was just the tip of the iceberg. Looks like they're packing up and getting ready to move out. There, what's that? Bingo. Map says that crane is hanging near the old computer room. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. It's gotta be it. Excuse me? My, my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up. <laughs> they get a crane, we gotta chop it.
Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way, we're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you're with me. Lazar, be ready for exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. I just understand. That if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. Alright. I'll do some digging. Oh, that new enlarger came in. The Lubyanka building. 
KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это песок с пол Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Do you get access to the bunker? It's always a problem. Solve it. We're getting the files in that bunker. Do whatever it takes. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Kamra Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. Seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. <clears throat> There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mole. How is that gone? Yes, and once we are finished with this mole, he will be as blind and buried as his namesake. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. I also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? Mm. <coughs> Comrade Belikov, my apologies. Even your bunker access has been revoked. We can't be too cautious, can we? Secretary Gorbachev, I believe it would be best if only General Charkov retains his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. 
Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. <laughs> a traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. Restricted. If I'm spotted so, here, I'm what can I do for you? I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. Comrade Belikov, we have a dissident inside, Pyotr Ivanov. Charkov wishes to speak to him. <coughs> I understand he's been collaborating with our enemies. He'll be sent away for good soon. <coughs> yes, comrade. I've already secured the room, but please go ahead. Whoever you are, you won't get shit out of me. I don't need to play your games. Just do whatever it is you're going to do.
Иванов won't cooperate. Нет. I should find leverage in the records room. Have you dug up my mole yet? No matter. We've discovered additional unauthorized communications. Within hours, we will know the exact computer they came from. Comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov. KGB has his wife and daughter's abductions already planned. That's good. I can use this to my advantage. What? What does my family have to do with any of this? Yes, anything. Please, what do I need to do? Kill him. Uh, I'll try. But swear to this, my own life for my family. just heard the most amusing thing. Let's check once I'm finished here. How can I Comrade. help you, sir? How's our friend doing? I don't know, sir. He doesn't have much to say. Oh. We'll see about that. Sorry, Tom. 
He's a spy. Yes, sir. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler steam in. How can I help you, sir? Going to say anything? Ludden. Ah, our team will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Yelikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. I wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What, what about your uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел не запятую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sober. Get changed. Here, our weapons and keycard are in the bag. This way. Let's run the bunker. We're on our own. Ты слышал о генеральном секретаре Брежнева? Нет. Ну что случилось? Ему сделали операцию. Сердце. А тут не было. Есть еще одна золотой звезды. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. И куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. 
Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем я не в кобиности. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. После Вичи, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Когда вы прибыли? Ах да, разумеется. Товарищ командир, я не расслышал. Твое совпадение. Я как раз к нему на прием. Обязательно передам ему привет от вас.
get to the vault. We're almost to the vault. Copy it to a disk.
Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies. for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus.
This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my surest shit guaranteed. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bill.
Aseguren el laboratorio! Take your men around back. Go! Copy that. Let's move! Copy. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck! Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep for mines. behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's move. Take care, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Exactly. 
Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Protejan el laboratorio! Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? 
I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low! It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! And we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Joseph. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm fine. Now that's something we're fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. Zone is hot as hell. Lend an assist. That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. <laughs> Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good impact. Firing. 
Team, we only got enough fuel for one more pass. Be ready for extract. You will not get another chance. Copy that, Skyhook. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line, now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! We don't have much time. Bell, hook into the harness. a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell, I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Dude, the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. 
During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another weapon. fled into the tree line. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents.
Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. crossing a bridge near the village. The water was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Oh, 
Being a firefight, you readied your own 16. You stored up a horse in this. You need chopper support, ASAP. Copy that. Chopper inbound. ETA 2 Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a PC attack. You 
Ready to grenade launcher. Charged ahead. split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. The bunker is left, Bell, not right. Turn around, Bell, and take the other path. Allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Command! This is Big Duke 4. We've got a possible Soviet command outpost in sight. And they see all over us. Requesting a napalm strike. Give Bell another injection. Do that it, now! Be. Bell's heart rate is already... Heart rate is spiking. 
I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. What the lab? What the hell is Bell doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume Right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Yeah. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job. We have a job. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training 
is complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell. You were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves Trabzon, he's stopping in Duga. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of me. I don't want the competition. <laughs> There. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, come on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenland, Arsene, 
we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. Safety This is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Go to 
becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? Face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold. That chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm. Yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Greenlight nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javadi. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure.
As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. The CIA managed to take out some of our agents within the United States. But our key asset, Robert Aldrich, escaped their reach. We will rebuild, and we will prosper. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. We have no one else to help fill the void. Inserting new agents into such influential positions will take years. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Where is Perseus? Safety. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. There's still one of us. Adler. We won't let the president down. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Be Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. Sure, you're not forgetting something, Bill. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. Fucking lied to us. That true, Bill? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes. What kind of fucked up logic is that? What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Why am I not fucking surprised? Time's up, kid. I 
guess I'll finish this job myself. You wanna load up the body? Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Nassim Javadi fell into CIA hands. He is far too soft. I will need someone to handle his erasure. As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. I need him brought back into the fold. But if he has been broken, he will need to be eliminated as well. Eliezer Azale perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. The others, however, are still out there. I will finish them all off myself if I have to. The CIA managed to take out some of our agents within the United States, but our key asset, Robert Aldrich, escaped their reach. We will rebuild, and we will prosper. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. We have no one else to help fill the void. Inserting new agents into such influential positions will take years. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solvents. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. 
Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. <laughs> They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell.
Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. We eliminated some of them, but Aldrich is still on the loose. Someday that peckerhead will learn firsthand how the CIA handles turncoats. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 